Hey guys, my name is Joshua and today I'm going to be telling you about my five biggest mistakes that I made in my personal growth journey. Let's get into it. I would be willing to bet that pretty much all but one of you out there watching this don't know my backstory. That one person probably being my mom. That's a video that I would be willing to make at a future date if you guys are interested. For now, I'll just tell you that I had a real bad drinking problem that caused me to go into rehab back in 2012. I came from a broken home. I had no male role model in my life to speak of. I didn't know what it meant to be a functioning adult in society. I didn't know how to contribute to society. So once I got sober and started actually wanting to be a mature adult, I had no clue where to begin. So my personal growth journey started with me fumbling around in the dark trying to figure out just where to start. And I made a lot of mistakes in the process. I'm still making mistakes, I'm still learning, but in the meantime, these are the five biggest mistakes that I've made since 2012 until now. Mistake number one, not identifying my priorities. So I didn't take time to actually know what was important to me whenever I got to the point where I wanted to be a functioning member of society. I had no clue what my priorities were. I didn't know what my values were. And that is a rough place to start from if you wanna get better. The things that lined up with my values, I didn't take as seriously as I should've because I didn't realize it at the time. With no priorities listed and no values to speak of, I didn't know what was and what wasn't important. So I wasted a lot of time on things that were trivial and missed opportunities to actually grow and develop things that were important to me. And speaking of opportunities, I missed a lot of opportunities because I was too focused on things that didn't matter to me. I missed them because I didn't know they were important to me at the time. Also, if you don't have your priorities listed, it's easy to get distracted by shiny things. You might actually be working on something that is important to you, but this opportunity over here comes wrapped up in a beautiful package, elaborate ribbon and bow and all that. It's got all the trimmings. And you think, wow, this is an amazing opportunity. I'm gonna jump on it. But it wasn't important. It didn't align with your values or even your priorities. But you didn't know that because you didn't have your priorities listed. So make sure that you have your priorities and your values identified before you even begin. That way you actually know where to begin. Mistake number two, dwelling on past mistakes. It is easy to get down on yourself for mistakes that you made in the past, but don't dwell on them. Learn from them and celebrate victories that you made, but don't live there either. I remember watching movies and seeing this man depicted, he's an old man, and he's depicted as retelling the same old glory stories from way back when. Decades and decades have passed and what has he done since then? Nothing but retell the same story to anyone who would listen. He hasn't accomplished anything else because he can't get out of the past. It's always about the good old days. It's always about the glory days. Nothing about today. What are you doing today? Don't miss out on the opportunities coming today because you're still dwelling in the past. I've heard it said, and I don't know who said this, but you can't get to your destination by looking in the rear view mirror. Cars might work that way. Life doesn't. So stop looking in the rear view mirror. Keep looking forward. Again, like I said, it's good to learn from mistakes and it's good to celebrate victories, but don't live there. Don't keep looking back. You're not going that way. Life doesn't work that way. And if you keep looking back, you're gonna miss the opportunities all around you. And that's only gonna lead to more mistakes to dwell on in the future. Mistake number three, one and done. Yeah, personal growth and development isn't one and done. You don't just get rid of a bad habit and call it quits. That bad habit's gonna come back if you don't keep working on it. Even if you replace it with a good habit, you have to work to maintain that good habit. This all takes work. In fact, I can liken personal growth in the journey to rowing a boat upstream. 
If you ever stop paddling, you're not going to stay still in the same spot. You're going to be drifting backwards. And the same is true with working on personal growth and development. It's not one and done. You've got to keep working on it. You've got to work to maintain those good habits and you've got to work to keep those bad habits at bay. You never forget how to ride a bike. Well, you never forget a bad habit either. And those bad habits can return at any time. So keep moving forward. Keep working to maintain. Mistake number four, too much personal growth and development. Yeah, I know I just said it's not one and done. You've always got to be working on it. But there is a line that you just don't want to cross. Because if you start working on too much, then you're going to get stressed out and overwhelmed and you're going to stop it all. It's like juggling. I remember when I first tried juggling back in high school, I could juggle maybe three beanbags. But if I ever tried to juggle four, I wouldn't just drop the fourth beanbag, I'd drop them all. So if we try to work on too much in our lives, it's not just that last thing that we added that we're going to drop. It's going to be all of them. In my experience, I was trying to consume more information than I can put into action. I was paralyzed by all of the information. I didn't even know where to start. And now I was reading this, reading this, reading this, reading this, reading this, reading. It didn't help me. It confused me all the more because this said start here, this said start here, this said start here, this said start here. So I still had no idea where to start. So don't get paralyzed by information. I believe they call it paralysis by analysis. Don't try to do too much all at once or you're going to fall to that paralysis by analysis. Try one thing at a time, work on that until you can get it to the place where you can maintain it and then introduce a new area to work on. If you do this in steps, you're going to be successful, at least more successful than you would be if you tried to work on five different things all at the same time. Mistake number five, having people I trust around me. Yeah, when I first started working on my personal growth and development, I was 250 miles away from anyone and everywhere that I knew. I was born and raised in the northwest corner of the state, went to rehab in the central area of the state, and I knew if I went back to the northwest corner, back to the same old places, back to the same old people, I would be doing the same old things. So I wanted a new start here in the central part of the state. Problem was, I didn't know anybody down here. And personal development, that's personal, right? It's just me. All I have to do is just rely on me. Well, the problem with that thinking is I can't see every area that I need to work on as well as having people that I trust around me to help point out things that I need to work on as well as some things that I might be working on that are trivial, that are not important. They can point that out. For instance, I was working on being a better dad, a better husband, and I was reading so many books and blogs on parenting and husbandry and all of these things. I was missing out on spending time with my family. I was spending so much time reading books and reading blogs on how to spend time with my family. I wasn't spending time with my family. I was just reading about it. And it wasn't until somebody pointed out to me, think it's time to start putting what you're reading into action. That was revolutionary to me. I hadn't thought of that. I was way too busy working on myself to actually put it into action. And so whenever you have people around you that you trust, they can point things out that you might have missed. I've heard it said, look before you leap. But let's look at the situation here. If I'm standing at the top of a cliff, looking over and down at the water below, I might see beautiful water down there and think, I could jump far enough and miss all those rocks. I'll be fine. It's going to be fun. Because all I'm seeing is just water. But if I ask somebody who's been there before, hey, should I jump off this cliff? They're probably going to tell me, no, yeah, the water down there, it's only two feet deep. Don't jump. You'll die. Don't just look before you leap. Ask before you leap. You need people around you that have your best interest in mind because they're not going to steer you wrong. If they actually do have your best interest in mind, they're going to help you out along the way. So have those people in your life. It's only going to be beneficial. Bonus mistake. Enjoy the journey. You have to have a destination in mind. Otherwise, your personal growth and development is just going to be aimless and probably meaningless. Let's be honest. If you don't have a destination in mind, you're probably not going to grow in the areas that you really do want to grow in, even though you don't really know what you would. But anyways, enjoy the journey. Let's imagine it this way. If I tried to go from where I am to San Diego, California, and I only focused on the destination, I'm probably going to miss everything between here and there, like the Grand Canyon. 
I would probably have more examples to give if I actually focused on the journey instead of the destination on my trip to California. Hmm. So anyways, look, it doesn't matter how slowly you progress, just make progress. To be perfectly honest, if you're making progress at all, you're doing pretty good. Enjoy the journey, learn from mistakes, celebrate victories, and keep leveling up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow, I can't believe how difficult that one actually was to make. Neighbors mowing, trains going by. I had to shoot this video like five different times. I forgot to turn on my sound the first time. Shot for about 30 minutes before I realized 